good evening and it's day 51 and we are officially over the halfway mark of this 100 day no junk food no alcohol challenge i am so glad that i've chosen to do the 100 days because i have done 30 days no alcohol before but never done the no junk food um thing but when i did the 30 days no alcohol not only did i eat more junk food to make up for not having having alcohol um but also as well um as soon as i finished the 30 days i just went straight back to having alcohol as normal because i hadn't really actually changed any habits it was just kind of get through that four weeks boom done okay let's get back on it again whereas with the 100 days um it actually gives you cha time to change your mindset and the way you think about drink the way you think about food and doing the junk food and the alcohol as well it um, really gives you the benefits that you need to get that energy flowing again and you know what it's really interesting actually the people that i talk to so many people now are giving up alcohol for months at a time um, because then they realize that the energy that they have now that they don't drink um, i know people that have done 100 days and then gone back to drinking and now sort of decided actually it's not for them anymore um so you know there's so many people now that give up alcohol or have it on the odd occasion now um and it's not a regular thing for them anymore um i'm quite happy to go to the pub and not have an alcoholic drink but the great thing about this is that even though the first 50 days were had very challenging days where i craved junk food i craved alcohol sometimes um, especially when my emotions were running low and I just usually reach for that crutch um, to help me through those emotions but now I've actually had to deal with my emotions in a more positive way actually process them, deal with them and work through them without using junk food or alcohol as a crutch to just try and ignore them um, I'm more chilled out, I'm more focused um, I know more what I want in my life um, I know how to deal with my emotions more in a positive way and not only that the food choices now have just become like a normal lifestyle change whereas before I had to really think like in the first 50 days I had to really think about like what am I going to have for breakfast lunch dinner what am I going to do about the weekends because they're my worst times um, but now it's just kind of gone into a more positive habit of like yep yeah, that's breakfast that's lunch that's dinner um, and they're all healthy choices and I found lots of lovely healthy things to snack on as well if I need a snack and um, and it's just sort of become easy now it's like even when I come out of this 100 days yes in moderation I may you know I'll be treating myself to the odd alcoholic drink or the odd um, pudding or this that and the other but I won't be going mad anymore because I feel like I've changed my habits and that's because I've done it or I'm doing it for over a hundred for a hundred days and not just 30 30 days doesn't really change anything because that's just four weeks of your life it's nothing you don't get the chance to really change habits in 30 days 60 days yes possibility 90 days definitely 100 days definitely so I would suggest to anyone who is trying to change a life habit to do a hundred days it will be tough at first but once you've got a handle on it and you deal with things differently um, and you're making healthier life choices it becomes easy and it just becomes part of life then it's, it's like normality now for me to choose the foods that I choose for breakfast lunch and dinner because I've been doing it now for 50 days for 51 days um, so yeah I definitely highly recommend it Anyway, I'll check in tomorrow. Love yourself for who you are. And whatever you're doing in life, grab it and do it and feel positive and believe in yourself. <laughs>